Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm Jules Gia. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is Season 3 of K-Check. Dito sinisiguro naming may challenge para sa bawat contestant at viewer at laging may bagong natututunan habang pinagdadaanan ang mga challenges. Stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check Champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Firstly, we have Marvs. Marvs is a second-year statistics student of UP Diliman. He's passionate about learning actuarial science, the stock market, and the financial metrics for investment index. Since grade 7, Marvs has been an avid supporter of Korean culture and Kung Fu Panda. Currently, he is addicted to reading horoscopes to better understand the people around him. So that naman, we have Cyril. Cyril is an IT student from Datamex College of St. Adeline. His hobbies are watching BL series, drawing, photography, and especially eating. Especially talaga. Pero he's also a returnee from last season. Okay. Welcome back. We also have Wensi. Wensi is a senior student studying in UP Diliman to become a teacher. Her hobbies include digital drawing and doing arts and crafts such as crocheting and upcycling old and thrifted clothes. She also loves reading fiction books such as The Hunger Games. And finally, we have Hannah. Hannah, a dedicated story writer and a manual lover, is immersing herself in the realm of information technology despite her dislike of math. Motivated by her love for captivating narratives, she aims to transport readers to magical worlds, igniting imaginations with each story she pens. Wow, that's so literary. Yes, <laughs> it. Very literary and well written. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K Check panel of experts. First, we have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. Nandito din si Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman. And last but not least, we have Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former chair of the Department of History, UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, it's time for our first round. Correct answers are 10 points each. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Let's begin! This is round one. Contestants, this is question number one. In what continent can you find the Taj Mahal, Mount Everest, and the Great Wall of China, Marvs? Asia. Asia is the correct answer. k -check. Question number two. According to thesaurus.com, what is the most commonly used letter in the English alphabet? Marvs. A. The answer is incorrect. Cyril. E. E is the correct answer. K check. Question number three in geometry. What is the area in square units of a rectangle that has the dimensions 12 units by 15 units? The correct answer is 180. Question number four in pocket billiards. What is the color of the eight ball? Cyril. Black. Efren Bata Reyes would be very proud of you. Black is the correct answer. K check. Question number five. What is the first name of actresses with surnames Sevilla, Lopez, Lawrence, and Aniston? Marks. Jennifer. Jennifer is the correct answer. K check. Question number six. What city in the United States? hosted the Olympic Games in 1932 and 1984, as well as the upcoming 2028 Olympics. Marks. Um, Las Vegas. Las Vegas is incorrect. Wensi. Los Angeles. Los Angeles is the correct answer. k -check. Question number seven. Known as the ship of the desert, what 
humped animal can withstand extreme temperatures from negative 30 to 50 degrees Celsius, Marvs. A camel. Camel is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number eight. In basketball, how many quarters are there in one NBA game? Marvs. Four. Four is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number nine. What term is a type of visible radiation in physics or, alternatively, an adjective that is the opposite of heavy? Wensi. Light. Light is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. Which British boy band joined and lost in the TV singing competition The X Factor? Cyril. One Direction. One Direction joined and lost in The X Factor in 2010 before hitting superstardom shortly after that. One Direction is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. What city in Mindanao is officially known as the chocolate capital of the Philippines? Hannah. Bohol. Bohol is incorrect. Wensi. Davao. Davao is the correct answer. K check. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. Which violet variety of quartz believed to protect its owner from drunkenness is the birthstone for February. Cyril. Amethyst. Amethyst is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for the first round. Maraming salamat, Attorney Gabby, for that round. Let's do a scores recap. Si Marv at si Cyril ang nangunguna ngayon with 40 points each, followed by Wensi with 30 points. At si Hannah naman, pwede pang umabol sa susunod na rounds. Pero bago tayo magpatuloy, nandito na tayo sa ating favorite portion kung saan mas kinikilala natin ang ating mga contestants. Ito ang... Kay Chica! Simulan natin si Marv. So Marv, bakit ganun na lang ang interest mo sa stock market? Actually, other sa uh, other or instead na growing uh, industry siya ngayon, pero super amazing kasi kung paano minimeasure ng financial market yung mga indexes when it comes sa, sa stocks, sa bonds, which is especially and mahalaga para sa atin kasi money is important kasi ito yung nagpapagana, nagpapabuhay sa mga family natin. And one more thing and much more important is yung paging insured natin in our future. So nakapag, ano ka na ba? nakapag-invest ka na sa stock market? Unfortunately, nasunog po siya. <laughs> well, that's part of the learning yes. curve, no? Pero siyempre, aside from that, isa pang interesting question kay Marvs ay, bakit ka mahilig din sa horoscope? Nakatulong na ba ito sa'yo so far? Lalo na today, sa mga kasama mong contestants, inalam mo na bang horoscopes nila? Actually, fun fact, like, kapag nakakilala ko ng bagong tao, tinatanong ko talaga kung ano zodiac sign nila because meron akong preliminary or parang snippet lang kung ano ba talaga yung personality nila para alam ko rin kung paano sila pakikituhan. Because some people, mas gusto nila ng space and freedom. Well, some, mas gusto nila yung sila ina-approach. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Anong zodiac ko? <laughs> I'm an Aryan. Aryan. At ikaw? Torye. <laughs> Torus ako. <laughs> Torus. Sige, maraming salamat. Ngayon naman, si Cyril. Muli na naman tayong naka-enkwentro ng contestant na ang hobby ay eating. Cyril, paano mo na-develop ang hobby na yan? Nahirapan ka ba? <laughs> Hindi naman po. <laughs> <laughs> Sinagot talaga. <laughs> So, bakit mo nasabi na eating is a favorite hobby? Although, hindi na tayo dapat magtaka, di ba? Kasi po, sa ano namin, ganun po yung bonding namin mag-family po. Ang um, kain po talaga. Lahat ng mga pinsan ko, ang pag magkakita po kami, palagi po namin ginagawa, kumakain lang po. Ano naman ang paborito mong pagkain? Wala. Ang dami po. <laughs> Pinaka-favorite. <laughs> ano po? Ano? Adobong puti. Puti in supa. Oh, Apa. Very in specific. Interesting ang usaping adobo. Pero marunong ka ba magluto? Apo. Ah. Yun yung niluluto mo, adobo mo ba? Okay. Okay, maraming salamat, okay. Marvs and Cyril. Pero mamaya babalikan din natin si Wensi at Hana. Pero round two muna tayo. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng... K-Check! K-Check! At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. At this point, Cyril and Marvs, they're both leading, tied with 40 points each, followed by Wensi with 30 points, and Hannah with a little catching up to do. So ngayon, attorney, tuloy na natin ang second part ng... 
Kay Chica! Si Wenzi naman ang ating chikahin. So Wenzi, alin sa mga arts and crafts or crochet creations mo ang pinaka-proud ka and why? Uh, nakagawa na po ka ng top na gawa sa yarn gamit yung pagko-crochet. Ayun, hindi ko lang po nasuot ngayon kasi color white po siya. Ah, color white siya. Do you plan to sell those in the future? Or are you selling now? Nagsasell po ako ng mga crochet flowers po. Pero sa friends lang po as of now. Pag friends ka na namin, pwede <laughs> Kailan mo pinikap yan? Was this a pandemic thing or pre-pandemic talagang nagko-crochet ka na? Actually, ano lang po. Mga last few months lang po. Mm, Post-pandemic. Post Maraming salamat, Wensi. Ikaw naman, Hana. Our very passionate story writer at narinig nyo na, di ba? Meron ng pasample ng kanyang pagsulat ng sarili niyang bio kanina. If we want to read one of your stories, meron ba kaming pwedeng puntahan? Like online? Um, as of now po kasi more on... Hindi ko pa po pinapublish kasi medyo nahihiya pa rin po since baka majudge, ganun. Pero more on pinapasa lang po sa school like poems, ganun. Hmm. Kamahiya, ang ganda ng pagkasulat mo. Kaya mag-pen name ka kung nahihiya ka ngayon. Pero ano bang ultimate dream mo as a writer? Well, um, makapagpatayo po ng sariling publishing company. Wow. wow! Hindi lang mapublish ang kanyang work, pero magiging publisher ng oh. maraming writers. Yes. Mga professors natin, nagsusulat sila ng mga libro. Balang araw, <laughs> sila silang mapapublish. <laughs> well, maraming salamat, Hannah, Wensi, and of course, Marbs and Cyril. Pero ngayon, it's now time for round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure to strategize. Kasi dito, correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. So let's not wait any longer. Let's begin. This is round two. Question number one. What famous lizard of the Americas has a prehensile tail long tongue and protruding eyes and can change its skin color to match its surroundings. Marbs. Chameleon. Chameleon is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. What is the seventh sign of the zodiac and the only one that is represented by a non-living thing? Wensi. Libra. Libra is correct. Okay, check. <laughs> Marbs. <laughs> okay, question number three. What is the name of the teenage sister of Detective Sher Sherlock Holmes who is played in the movies by Millie Bobby Brown? Wensi. Enola. Enola is correct. Kate check. Question number four. If lithosphere is the land part of the Earth's surface, what part is made up of the oceans, seas, and freshwater bodies of water? Correct answer is hydrosphere. Question number five. Described as the northernmost geographical region of the Indian subcontinent, what has been the center of conflict of India and Pakistan since the late 1940s? Correct answer is Kashmir. Question number six. What planet of the solar system is closest in size to the Earth. Hana. Mars. Mars is wrong. Anyone can steal. Wensi. Mercury. Mercury is wrong. Siren. Jupiter. Jupiter is wrong. Mars. Venus. Venus is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What is the study of scientific classification, especially of plants and animals, according to their Wensi? Taxonomy. Let me proceed to their presumed natural Relationships. Taxonomy is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. Just barely in her 20s, which female singer has already won two Academy Awards for Best Song, including the title theme from the James Bond movie, No Time to Die? Kakalabas sila ng bagong album, si Billie Eilish. Okay, question number nine. What must be your average speed in kph or kilometer per hour if you want to travel 100 kilometers in 4 hours? Correct answer is 25. Question number 10. In physics, 
What do you call the property of solid materials to return to their original shape and size after the forces deforming them have been removed? The correct answer is el elasticity. Question number 11. What is the second letter of the Greek alphabet? When C. Beta is correct. K check. Last question for this round. Number 12. What airline encountered severe turbulence on a flight from London over Myanmar that resulted in one dead and 70 injured in May 2024? The correct answer is Singapore Airlines. And that's it for round two. Maraming salamat, Jules. Kamustahin naman natin ang ating mga ranking sa mga contestants. Well, Wensi is now in the lead with 100 points, followed by Marvs with 80, Cyril with 30, and Hannah with negative 10. Pero hindi pa tayo tapos. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Welcome back to K-Check. At this point, tulad nga ng sinabi natin, Wensi is in the lead with 100 points, followed by Marvs with 80, Cyril with 30, and Hannah with negative 10. But not to worry, diba? at huwag masyado maging confident ang mga nasa lead, dahil meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Correct answers are worth 30 points each, at may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer, but not the letter only. Okay, naman, let's go for those points and for the win. Let's begin! Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Sophie. Thank you, Jules. In film, the term mise-en-scene refers to all of the elements that comprise a single shot, which is not an element of mise-en-scene. A. Actors B. Soundtrack C. Props D. Costumes E. Lighting Barbs. Mm, soundtracks okay. um, As the word mise-en-scene, which is French for put in scene, no? um, Mise-en-scene involves visual elements. Soundtrack is not a visual element, so your answer, Marvs, is correct. Okay, check. Thank you. Next question, Prof. Vicky. Okay. Which shape is a three-dimensional object with a circular base on a single vertex? A. Cube B. Sphere C. Cylinder D. Cone D. Pyramids That are D. Cone A cone is a three-dimensional shape with a circular base connected to a single point called the vertex. Okay, check. Ako, nasa lead na ngayon si Marvs with, with 140 points. Okay, let's see. Prof. Lu. Okay, Asian sports tayo. Which of these sports is the Japanese Kyudo most closely associated with? A. Gymnastics B. Wrestling C. Archery D. Martial Arts E. Swimming Anna. B. Wrestling That's incorrect Cyril Letter D. Martial Arts Mali po, sorry Kyudo, meaning way of the bow in Japanese, is a traditional form of archery, closely associated with Zen Buddhism. The correct answer is C, archery. Thank you. Now we're off to the second round of questions. Prof. Sophie. Okay, also from in film, which film franchise is not an adaptation of an earlier literary work? A. Harry Potter B. 
The Hunger Games C. Lord of the Rings D. Star Wars E. Twilight Mark D. Star Wars um, All other options are based on novels Star Wars, no, from 1977, even though it feels very legendary, no, mythical almost, is an original story. So, Star Wars is correct, Marvs. Okay, check. Thank you. We're all freaky. Okay, biochemistry time. How do enzymes affect chemical reactions in the body? A. The slow down reactions. B. They act as a source of energy. C. They increase the activation energy needed. D. They speed up reactions by lowering activation energy. When C. D. Speed up reactions. Enzymes speed up chemical reactions by lowering the activation energy required, allowing bio biological processes to occur efficiently. K check. Thank you. Next question, Prof. Lu. Punta tayo sa Philippine culture. What was the first full-length Pinoy animated film? The choices are A. Adarna B. Saving Sally C. Dayo sa Mundo ng Elementalia D. RPG Metanoia E. Urduha Mark D. RPG Metanoia Mali po, sorry. Hana. E or Duha? Malipo. This local animated movie featured the voices of famous actors and singers with Jolina Magdangal's voice as Ibong Adarna. Jerry Garcia, the pioneer of Pinoy animation, was the writer and director of this film released in 1997. The correct answer is A, Adarna. Alright, simulan natin Prof. Sophie. <clears throat> the Great Pyramid of Giza, built around 600 BCE, is the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world and the only wonder that has remained largely intact. Standing at 481 feet, the Great Pyramid was the world's tallest human-made structure for more than 3,800 years. The Great Pyramid of Giza was built to serve as A. A. Church B. Granary C. Museum D. School E. Tomb Marks. Letter E. Tomb Okay, um, and it wasn't just the tomb, no, for the pharaoh, but everything they needed for the afterlife, no, was buried with them. Okay, so E tomb is correct. Okay, check. Thank you, Prof. Freaky. Next question. Which of the following is an example of a high-level programming language? A assembly. B machine code. C Python. Marps. C. Python Python is a high-level programming language known for its readability and ease of use. High-level languages are abstracted from the details of the computer hardware. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Lu, next question. Okay, Philippine history. Who was both the Secretary of Finance and Secretary of the Interior during the Philippine Commonwealth? A. Yolohio Rodriguez B. Elpijo Pirino C. Manuel Rojas D. Jose Yulo E. Antonio de las Alas He was first elected as a senator in 1925, representing the first senatorial district, serving until 1935. At the start of the Commonwealth, Manuel Quezon appointed El Pijo Quirino as Secretary of Finance and Concurrent Interior Secretary. The correct answer is B, El Pijo Quirino. Okay, so now we're off to the last round of questions. Mm -hmm. 
Well, after the third round, Marvs is still in the lead with 215 points, followed by Wensi with 130, Seidel with 15, and Hannah with negative 40. Okay, so last 90 points at stake. Okay, Prof. Sophie, go ahead. Okay, so this is really elementary, my dears. <laughs> what short poetic form consists of three lines of 17 syllables, usually in five Seven, five, syllable count. Marvs. Tanaga. Tanaga. Um, mali po. Hi, Q. Okay. So, I'll read the, I'll read the options. A, Renga. B, Limerick. C, Haiku. D, Stanza. E, Tanka. Okay, the correct answer is See, haiku. Um, yung tanka is actually the longer form, and yung haiku can be a part of it. No? So, yung three lines is the haiku. Okay, so, okay, check. Thank you. Okay, Prof. Ricky, next question. Okay. What is the primary function of leaves on a plant? A. To absorb water. B, to attract pollinators. C, to produce food through photosynthesis. When C? C, produce food. The primary function of leaves on a plant is to produce food through photosynthesis, a process where they convert sunlight with other chemicals into energy. Okay, check. Okay, so last question. Kapag sumagot si Marv, at Malisha at nakasagot si Wenzi. At tama siya. Si Wenzi yung mananalo. Tingnan natin kung yun yung mangyayari. Okay. Prof. Lu, go ahead. Okay. Ibaling ang inyong atensyon sa transportation history. What is the oldest bus company in the Philippines and Asia which was established in 1914? The choices are A. Victory Liner B. BLT Biko or Batangas Laguna Tayabas Bus Company C. Filtranco D. Partas E. Jackliner Incorporated Its former company names are Albert Louis Amen Transportation Company or Alatco and Pantranco South Express Incorporated it is currently named Filtranco Services Enterprises Incorporated and it is the only bus carrier in the country with a nationwide public transport franchise. The correct answer is C. Filtranco. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Marv, our K-Check Daily winner with a final score of 200 points. We'll see him again tomorrow when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Maraming salamat din kay Cyril, Wensi, and Hannah for joining us today. And of course, the members of our panel of experts, Professor Sophie, Professor Ricky, and Professor Lou. This has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check.